Hi, I'm Matt from eSpares. Now in this video, I'm gonna show you how to replace the carbon brushes on a pneumatic Henry vacuum cleaner. Now what is a carbon brush? Uh, well, I've got a Flymo motor here I can show you. Like on any electric motor, electricity needs to get from the outer fixed part to the central spinning shaft or armature. And you can see the brushes, one on that side and one on that side and they're in contact with this brass ring at the top. It's called a commutator. So why do we use carbon in our brushes? Well, graphite is a really good conductor of electricity, which is obviously very important, but it also creates very little friction as it rubs against the commutator. Now, even still, that does mean that the carbon brush will wear down over time. As you can see from this carbon brush from a, an old SIBO vacuum cleaner, that's worn about halfway down. But if yours have worn all the way down, then your motor will start to run intermittently, eventually will stop running altogether. Now, if that's happened to your Henry, hopefully you can replace the carbon brushes. Now I say hopefully because not all Henrys use the same motor. Pneumatic have been making Henry since 1981, and over the years they've used lots of different parts, even in Henrys with the same model number including something like half a dozen different types of motor. So how do you know which motor you've got and what type of carbon brush you need? Well, the only way is to open your Henry up and have a look at the motor type and the brushes that it takes. Now, unfortunately, on some of these older motors like this one, the replacement brushes are just not readily available and the motor wasn't designed for easy replacement of brushes. You can see the end here, it's just soldered on. If that's the case, it's probably time for a new Henry. Now, on Henry motors that you can easily replace the brushes, you may find that you've got these open sprung type, or even easier still, these cartridge style ones. And it's these that I'm gonna be replacing on this Henry HVR 200. Now, safety first, do make sure you're unplugged from the mains before you do any work on any electrical appliance. I'm gonna start by taking the top of Henry's head off. So I'm just gonna separate out the cable rewind mechanism and outer casing from this part here, which houses the motor. And it's just four screws here that need to be undone. And now it's just these three screws to separate out the two parts of the motor housing. Okay, there we go, there's the motor. And I can just uncouple those two connector wires. And there we can see the two carbon brushes that we're gonna replace. So if you've got any plastic casing, like on the top of here, then we can get that out of the way. And then I just wanna remove this first spade clip. You might just need to get in there and just work it off with a screwdriver. And then just need to remove this bracket, which is holding the carbon brush in place. Now you'll see that these carbon brushes go in dead straight, dead perpendicular against the commutator. So it means it doesn't matter which way round you put them on. Some actually go in at an angle like, like that and you'll find that the end is tapered and you need to make sure that you get the right one on the right side. But for these ones, it doesn't matter which. There we go, that just comes away. This is almost a new motor, so you can see that's hardly worn down at all. But I'll put the new one into place, put its holding bracket on. And once that's done up, then I just need to reattach the spade clip. Always make sure that you replace both carbon brushes at the same time so that they wear down evenly. There we go, that's that one done. Okay, that's the other side done. Now all we've got to do is just put everything back together again.
and there we go. New carbon brushes on the motor of this Henry. Now vacuum cleaner carbon brushes are available for all makes and models on the eSpares website. Thanks for watching.